Hi, Steve Lackmar here with another edition of OKC Central, brought to you by the Nichols Hills Plaza Merchants Association. Really do appreciate uh, their support and uh, the efforts that they're doing to uh, bring downtown news and urban core news to our readers. This week has been a very busy week in Midtown. We've seen work continuing on Fassler Hall and Dust Bowl lanes that's due to open actually this fall. It might surprise some folks, but they're really moving forward very quickly. We also have work uh, wrapping up toward a December opening of the Marion Hotel, which has been converted into apartments. And we're also seeing the effect of St. Anthony's $53 million expansion, a new ICU wing being built at 10th and Walker. This has involved some pain. Uh, both Walker and a portion of 10th Street have been shut down at that intersection. And Kaiser's has closed due to this construction. They just could not stay open any longer. There are talks uh, for another restaurant operator to move into the building, but there are questions about whether that building has some, sustained some damage that could delay that or complicate that further. Uh, that having been said, St. Anthony Hospital officials report that the street should be reopened by the end of this month or early September. I can also tell you that work is continuing on the edge. The first tenants are now scheduled to move in in early October. Developer Gary Brooks had initially indicated that he hoped to have tenants moving in this month, but due to some weather and other permit issues that typically happen on large projects like this, it's been delayed a few weeks, but they are on track to open in early October. Uh, the street in front of the building is being finished now. The storefronts are being finished. It is looking like it will meet that target. The other thing going on right now downtown is newest addition to Bricktown, Brickopolis, is starting to go up. The water taxi booth on the canal has been moved, and it looks like it's a successful relocation of that to make way for the steel that's about to arrive. It'll be a three-story building. It'll be home to a House of Bedlam gift shop, a pizza restaurant, a laser tag arcade, and other amusements. Again, that's set to start going up with steel over the next several weeks, and we should see an opening by late next year. Appreciate you joining me for another edition of OKC Central, brought to you by the Nichols Hills Plaza Merchants Association. Uh, to follow all my coverage, visit newsok.com or visit my personality page at newsok.com backslash Steve Lackmire.